Aloha guys, I was gonna go out today and I just remembered the other day I did hit something big and I fought with it for a while and unfortunately it took out a lot of line as you can see here and the line broke. I knew what was gonna happen because I saw something floating in the water which looked like a partly submerged log, went over that and it broke. So, and this was only 10 pound test line. Um, this is the um, GT which is the called uh, short for Grand Touring. So I only spooled it when I got this just to do the review, but now I'm gonna have a chance to change the lineup because it's not good to use a spool with that much line missing, as you can see. Alrighty, so we're gonna, I have my fish on spooler by Sportsman Innovations here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the spooler. I'm not gonna show it because it's, I've showed it so many times already. I'm gonna use the spooler to um, take off the line that I'm gonna put some new line on and I'm gonna use um, this brand here this is called super HT uh, HT premium monofilament it's made by soft steel as you can see there's soft steel this is 15 pound test so I don't want to go 20 uh, most people go 20 on a 4,000 I want to get a little bit more yardage I'm gonna go 15 plus you know with the braid you don't get no stretch whatsoever so if you're going to meet something that's going to stop it it's going to most likely snap whereas the mono will stretch a little and the reason i won't go 20 is because i'm going to use uh, i'm going to lose some yardage okay so because of the diameter line if i go with the 15 i get a little bit more on it so let's see what happens okay i got all this used line that came off the spool so be sure to dispose of this properly. Just don't throw it away like this. I'm gonna put this in a closed container and throw it in the garbage can. That's the way to do it. So for this model, um, I would suggest that you, you get, if you're gonna get one, um, get everything, okay? Make sure that you have all the accessories, like this part here where you have your adapters for all different type of um, spool sizes. So there's a bunch of them. So you have to go through, see which one fits that one fits perfectly.